So in today's show, we're going to talk about visualizing your happy place. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Boardman. And if you are coming through, please do let me know. Please let me know if this resonates or if this is something you've done or not even considered. So for me, visualization is really important. Um, I do it an awful lot in terms of trying to figure out where I want to be. Now, I do it on a daily basis, I do it on a weekly basis, I do it on a yearly basis, and I can end up doing it on a 10-year basis. Now, <clears throat> visualization, for me, paints a picture of all of those thoughts that I go through my mind, all of the things that I'm aiming for and trying to achieve in life, and actually playing out that scene in my mind. Now, I could do this daily, so once I get home and finish this run, um, I will sit down and work with my journal, and I will visualize how my day's gonna go. I'll all, almost go through that scene of my late morning, early afternoon, late afternoon, and kind of picture how it's gonna end up being. Um, the, uh, when I do it on a Sunday night, and I check in with myself, and you kind of focus on the week, it's, you kind of visualize yourself going through the week, through the days, how the week's gonna go. I kind of did it at the very start of the year. So I visualized where I wanted to be at the end of the year, what I would be doing, what the environ, environment would be, um, the people around me, um, the hard work and the route leading up to it. And you play it like a story. You play it like a story with reference points. And the reference points, if you like, are, okay, this is how I visualize it's gonna be in the first quarter. This is how I visualize things are gonna be in the second quarter. And I think it's a really powerful tool to be able to use to be able to figure out exactly where you're gonna be. Um, <clears throat> now, in other circumstances, people might use this as part of their run. So I know when I do a half marathon, I know that when I do a half marathon, a marathon, or even fuck this run this morning, when I went to bed last night, I visualized the route that I was gonna run. And there's a couple of benefits to visualizing your life or runs or things that are going on in your life. And number one is that they can give you some form of clarity about how this process is gonna play out. Number two, it can highlight potential barriers that you're gonna hit in your journey or your process. You're identifying them by going through the process, visualizing the process, and suddenly you go, fuck, that's a consideration I haven't thought of before. They can allow you to be able to um, form consistency, form control of time and energy, and where you're directing that. And I think, how, so, the next step would be, how do you go about visualizing something? How do you go about it and making sense of it? Well, I think if you look at this as almost writing a chapter of your masterpiece, of your book, of where you want to be, of how you want to master your life and have an end state to be able to reach, okay? We're always starting action and a process with the end in mind. So if you was to get, um, if you was to write down on Word or write down on a notebook or write down on a nice piece of paper, a visualization of where you would like to be in life, like your perfect scenario, what life looks like, what work look like, looks like, what your relationships look like, what your mind looks like, and you're almost putting yourself in that end state. It's like having a time machine and you just go and you go through that time machine, you get to it and you look at that perfect scenario of where you'd like to be. And there's nothing wrong with having that, you visualize it, you can talk about, um, you can talk about the smells, you can talk about the feelings, the emotions, how hard it was to get there, how nice it is to have the things around you. And I think one of the biggest cop blocks most people have is that they don't understand where their happiness lies. They don't understand where they want to fucking be in life. They don't understand what they want in life. And an exercise such as visualization, such as writing down a, a vision of where you would like to be in life, and in terms of practicing that daily, 
through visualizing your day or visualizing your run it gives you that sense of clarity that you're missing helps you understand maybe what you want out of your life which then as a, a byproduct allows you to form an identity that allows you to be on the right path the right process and the right channel of where you want to be and I think it's super important to be able to recognize that um, and implement that so I guess my advice right now would be to go away and figure out your vision where the fuck are you gonna go how well, like where do you want to be what does it look like what's it gonna take to get there and it might take you months it might take you weeks it might take you fucking days it might, it might take you a year to figure out that visualization but it's better to have some form of vision about where you are heading rather than being blind and just roller coasting each day being on the hamster wheel firefight and everything that comes there's got to be that vision there's got to be I think it was collateral damage Jamie Foxx Tom Cruise it's a film and I and I think it was uh, Jamie Foxx who every time in his cab he was in his cab and every time he was in his cab and he had a bad day he had a bad client he would pull down his sun visor and there would be this boat or this island or something where and it was it was where he wanted to go or was what he wanted and it reminded him that every single day or bad experience that he had, he would remember that visualization. It was powerful. It brought him back to why he was doing what he was doing and putting up with some of the grief that he had to go through to get him to that point. And I think when you have that visual reminder and you've written it down and you had that story, it rem helps you remember the mission and it all kind of, the dots connect. So go away create a vision what does life look like how is it going to pan out for you and then enjoy the ride